Governor Ned Lamont is declaring victory over his Republican challenger, Bob Stefanowski. With 93% of precincts reporting, the Associated Press has called this race in favor of the incumbent Democrat. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo live in studio this morning to break down the specifics. Good morning, Audrey. Stefanowski has not conceded yet. Caitlin, that's right. Though Governor Lamont made a victory speech to his supporters last night, Stefanowski said he wants to wait until every vote is counted. Now, the breakdown, Lamont has 676,000 votes to Stefanowski's 535,000. Independent Rob Hodling received around 12,000 votes. Now, that's a lead of more than 100,000 ballots in favor of the governor, giving him a likely second term. Now, now with a promising lead last night, Lamont addressed his supporters to thank them. Connecticut gets it right. We had a good election, a fair election. Now we all come together. We work together as one because that's what Connecticut always does. We're doing a heck of a lot better than any poll ever predicted. There's still 100 towns outstanding. We're going to wait and see this thing to the finish. We're going to win this race overnight. We're going to talk to you tomorrow morning. You heard him. We're expecting to hear from the Stefanowski campaign sometime this morning. Remember, this is a rematch of the 2018 election where Lamont only beat Stefanowski by around 40,000 votes. Now, this morning, that lead is obviously much more comfortable. Now, let's take a look at the Blumenthal versus Levy race for U.S. Senator. I'm Dylan Finn with the Blumenthal campaign in Hartford, and this night couldn't have gone better for Senator Blumenthal. The race called by the AP at 8.02. We saw the senator come on in here at Dunkin' Donuts Park at the YG Club around 8.30, declaring victory, addressing the state. And he said today couldn't have gone any better. He woke up very confident. He woke up relaxed. And he addressed the nation and said, look, if you voted for me, if you didn't vote for me, that's okay. I'm going to fight for you, and I'll continue to fight for Connecticut. I feel energized and excited to be continuing this fight for the people of Connecticut. You know, I am deeply honored to be a United States senator, but the people of Connecticut have given me this opportunity to cut taxes, lower inflation, protect Medicare, and preserve Social Security, and equally important, restore women's freedoms to make health care decisions. I'm New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland with the Lior Levy campaign here at the Trumbull Marriott, where supporters watch the numbers come in. And it was a quick night, not much suspense, with the Associated Press calling this race for Senator Richard Blumenthal just minutes after the polls closed. Levy was hoping her message, focusing on the economy, would play well with voters. But the challenger, who was endorsed by former President Donald Trump, was not able to unseat the two-term incumbent. I called Senator Blumenthal to congratulate him on his victory. And while we have very different visions for America, as well as different opinions on policy, I wish him well in the next six years over the course of this campaign. It has been one of the greatest honors of my life to meet so many of you, to hear your stories, to share in your struggles. I will not stop fighting for you. And sitting Attorney General William Tong has won his bid for re-election. You can see those results up on your screen right now.